Thinkorswim has some pretty great features which allow users to create and share custom tools or indicators, and just overall customize the platform in some pretty amazing ways. Most of this is generally done in the form of ThinkScript, and today we'll actually be loading up three custom scripts to allow us to quickly see how much a stock is up or down week to date, month to date, and year to date. Once loaded into the platform, it can either be displayed as a column over here in your watch list section, or over here in your position statement on the right hand side. Looking here, you'll notice the very first column in the list is displaying the stock's percentage change week to date. The second is going to show us the change month to date, while the final and third column is showing us the change year to date. You may have also noticed that if the number is a positive number, the background of that column is going to flip to green. If it's a negative number, it's going to flip to red, so you can easily recognize whether or not that stock is up or down during that time period. So just as a quick example, if we were to look here at my very first symbol, Apple, I can quickly tell that it is up 1% week to date. To the right, I can see it's only up 0.1% month to date, so virtually unchanged. Then unfortunately, coming over here to the right, we can see it's down just over 11% year to date. And for those of you not familiar, year to date just means from January 1st to right now. So at the moment, from January 1st to now, Apple is down just over 11%. Now I know these columns are incredibly simple, but I do like to have them as a quick reference just to get an idea of what type of moves the stock has made recently. So has it recently had a big move up or down or what's going on year to date? It's just nice to have a general idea of what's going on. Now in terms of actually adding them to your own platform, it can be done in a couple different ways. And I post the link to my website where you can then go and copy either the script itself or just use the link to import it. The very first method is by copying the script itself and then creating your own custom column. So just as an example, if we wanted to create a year to date column, we'll first need to head over to my website. Here we can then scroll down a little bit and all I want to do is find the custom think script and right here you can see it listed out. So all we want to do is copy it and just keep in mind that this is going to be the same script for all three columns. We just have to make a slight adjustment in the uh, creation of it. So here, let me go ahead and first copy this script here. We can then go ahead and head back over to the Thinkorswim platform. Once back here, we can either create the column in the watch list section or in the position statement using the little gear icons in the upper right hand corner. Either one of those is going to work just fine. And when we create it in one, it will be available in either section. So for right now, let's just do it in the position statement section. We'll then get a little pop-up window where we can see all of the columns I'm currently using over here on the right hand side and then all the columns available to us over here on the left hand side. Since we're going to be creating a brand new column or making a custom column, what we'll need to do is come up here to the top and click in this little look up a column box. Then we need to search for the word custom. So typing in custom here, I can then see a list of available columns that I could create. So these are just blank templates, custom five, custom six, custom seven. And what we need to do is actually load that script we copied into any one of these. The one that we choose doesn't matter. So let me just go ahead and click on the very first one here that's blank, custom five. And what I need to actually do is click on the little script icon to open it up. The pop-up window that then appears is actually where we're going to be pasting that script. And the very first thing we have to do in here is delete whatever's in here by default. So in this case, it says simple moving average. So I'm just going to come to the right and delete that out of here. Next up, I do want to come up here and flip it over to the think script editor. And now in this little drop down box down here below, we can click inside of here and then right click and paste our custom script. Now that we've got the script in here, the only thing I have to do next is go ahead and give it a name. So I'm going to come up here where it says custom five, and I'm going to go ahead and name this year to date percent. The only other thing we have to do before hitting OK and saving this custom script is come over here to the time frame icon and flip it over to the time frame that we need. Now, in this case, because I'm creating the year to date column, I do need to come down to the very bottom and select year. But if you were making the week to date column or the month to date column, you would have just flipped it over to either week or to month. And that's going to be how you're going to create the different percent change columns using the exact same script is using this little time frame button here. But since we wanted to do the year to date column for right now, we're going to leave it selected as year up here. And now that everything looks good, we'll simply come down here and select OK in the lower right hand corner. And now all I have to do is actually add it to my watch list or add it to my position statement wherever I wanted to see it. 
So in this case, this column is specifically for the position statement right now. So if I came over here and I selected the new custom script we just created, year to date percent, and I came down here and hit add item, you can now see that I've added that new custom script over here on the right. And if I come down here and hit OK, we can now see our brand new column has been added. So it's right up here on the right hand side. To add it to the watch list, we could also come over here to the left hand side and click on the gear icon in the upper right hand corner of the watch list, then come down here and select customize. We would then get a nearly identical pop up window as before, where we can see all the columns we're currently using in the watch list section and then all the columns available to us. So now in order to find that column we just created, we'll come up here to the look up a column box and for this one we'll type in YTD and there we can see it down below. So to add it, we'll just click on it, then come down here and hit add item and hit OK. So now looking up here, you can see we've added the column again over here on the watch list section. And that is the first method of loading in a custom script into here. Now, the second way to load those custom columns and probably the easier way to do it is by heading back over to the website. Then what we want to do is actually scroll up this page a little bit and we're simply going to import it as a shared item. So in this case, if we wanted to load in the percent change month to date column, we could simply come in here and copy this little script icon here. I'm just going to go ahead and say copy. I can then go ahead and head back over to the Thinkorsim platform. From there, all we have to do is come up to the upper right hand corner and select the setup menu. We'll then come down below and then open up the open shared item window. And then all we have to do is paste in that URL we just copied. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit control V here. You can now see the exact link we just copied on the website page is right in here. And if we came over to the right and hit preview, you can now see we're about to add the percent change month to date column. And if I came down here and hit import, it would be imported to your platform. But again, you do have a few different methods to load this into your own platforms and hopefully you end up finding this useful in your own trading. If you do still have questions or any recommendations for another script you'd like me to cover or create, just let me know down below. In the meantime, if you are looking to learn more, YouTube seems to think you'll find this next video helpful as well, so go ahead and check it out. But that's it for now. Have a great rest of your week, everyone, and I'll catch you on the next video.